You can apply for article processing charges, or APCs, from Uniarts Helsinki's centralized APC fund to publish in open access journals. But the fund is not available for publishing in hybrid journals. Sometimes it can, however, be difficult to tell if the journal is a hybrid or an open access journal, and this video shows some ways to check that. The Directory of Open Access Journals, DOACH, is a database which currently, in 2022, lists over 18,000 open access journals, of which about 5,000 charge APCs. So most open access journals are free for both readers and authors. And DOACH also shows the amount of APCs of journals. Uh, if a journal is listed in DOACH, it is definitely an open access journal. But not all open access journals are included in DOACH, which means that if you can't find a journal there, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a subscription or a hybrid journal. In any case, open access journals tend to be fairly unambiguous about their open access status, whether they belong to DOACH or not. If you can't find an answer this way, you can check the journal website and browse the contents of any issue of the journal. If some articles are open access and some are not, the journal is most likely a hybrid journal. What might cause confusion is that if the journal is subscribed by the library and the user is currently in Uniart's network, locally or via VPN, all articles are available to read. An open access logo or a Creative Commons license is a sign if an article is open access and a free or full access label just indicates that the journal is part of Uniart's subscriptions. There are many reasons why the hybrid model is problematic, which is why hybrid journals don't often use that term themselves. Subscription journals might just tell you about their open access options, which means that you can pay for single articles to be opened, which is the hybrid model. If you can't find the answer to whether a journal is an open access or a hybrid journal, you can always contact the library for help.